Yo, what's good? It's your boy. Bike with another video. Today, we are going to be discussing Instagram artists versus YouTube artists. Now, your boy is a little bit biased towards being a YouTube artist. But I'm gonna prove in today's video why you should become a YouTube artist. If you are new to the channel, welcome. I do content just like this every single week, helping out artists. So y'all make sure to hit that subscribe button so y'all can tap into my new videos. So we are gonna break this down into like four different major key points. First one is gonna be discoverability. Second one is gonna be the workload. How much work does it take to actually be seen on these platforms. The third one is gonna be longevity. How long does a post last? What is the lifespan of a post, of a video, etc.? And then we're gonna go into monetization. How easy it is, how hard it is, which platform can potentially make you the most money, etc. So as far as discoverability goes, y'all all know YouTube got IGP. YouTube is the number two the number two search engine behind guess guess who google so if you optimize your video title it can show up on google search and people can find you through a google search you can't do that with ig when you go on the ig app like it doesn't even work like that it's it's not even set up to be a searchable app like that. It mainly relies on the algorithm to actually suggest you things and really get your content out there. The ability to search for certain topics gives the creator power. You know, we can title our videos in a certain way to solve a problem and you can do keyword research to figure out how many times a month or a year that people actually search for this topic. And then once you figure that out, you put it on YouTube. And now you know that potentially you got 2,000, 3,000 people a month searching for this term. So the likelihood of people watching your videos or whatever, just it just skyrocketed. This is the power of YouTube and the power combined with Google. No other platform can compete with YouTube's discoverability. Now let's talk about workload. How long or how much content does it take to actually be seen on these platforms? Future Hamp here and I was doing a little bit of research and I ran across this article um, Hootsuite, which is a social media scheduler. They did a interview with the chief of Instagram and he suggested that you post about two times to your regular feed and two times to stories. And that that would be optimal for growth. Zoom, zoom in on my face. So then they asked the Hootsuite creators, what do you think? How many times a week do you need to post? And they said three to seven times. And if you look at some of these videos on YouTube about Instagram and how many times a day you need to be posting and all of this stuff like that, some of the people will suggest multiple times a day. Number one, what they're saying wasn't my experience at all. And other artists that I've discovered on YouTube or whatever, that's not their experience either. So the thing is, I'm I'm not really saying that the chief of Instagram is lying. I'm not saying the Hootsuite creators are lying. All I'm saying is that it is so unpredictable. And this poses a problem. This is where the problem comes up because when you don't know really know how to like strategize things you could be doing the same thing or doing something else or doing this or doing that and it's it's just not working and you can really waste time on this thing for two years three years or whatever trying to just figure things out now listen youtube is vastly different if you are giving people value if you are doing keyword research and you know how many times a month people are searching for this particular topic, 
you're gonna grow if you can you know make a decent thumbnail you're gonna grow so you know one time a week versus four times a week seven times a week multiple times a day uh, you know youtube has i would say more predictable it's it's more predictable as far as the times that you actually uh, need to post per week get on get on uh youtube one time a week make sure you bring value make sure you research your topic and you win the game next up is going to be content longevity how long does your post on ig last how long does a video on youtube last well on youtube right now as as i'm talking and as you're watching i have a video right now it has about thirteen thousand views that video is very very consistent it almost always leads uh, my channel as far as my videos as far as views it is very consistent and that video is about a year and a half old but it is continuously bringing in views now on Instagram, you'll be lucky if your post lasts a week. Like it's your post are, is very short term, you know, and you didn't spend all of this time, you know, curating this content, uh, drawing, you know, countless hours drawing, and all to have your picture like engaged with or or viewed within a week, and then after a week is it the algorithm just it just stops pushing. It. And you know, for artists, that can be very disheartening, you know, with the amount of time that you know, we do put into our craft. Also, the more longer your content lasts, potentially the more money that you can make. And that's going to tie into our next topic, which is monetization. So let's get right into Instagram's monetization, right? So they have about five, about five different ways you can monetize your profile, or whatever on Instagram. So one way is you can work with different brands, sponsorship. We call them sponsorship deals in YouTube. The next up is you can join a affiliate program. And what Instagram is doing is they are, they allow everybody to have a shop on Instagram and what you can do is you can promote these shops and you know if somebody sees sees that shop on your post or whatever they can click on the link and if they do buy it then you'll get a portion of that sale that's usually how uh, affiliate marketing works and what's unique about this is that this is all within the the Instagram ecosphere like you don't have to go to an outside website to actually uh, get started in affiliate marketing on Instagram, which I think that that's a good idea. I, I'll be interested to see, you know, uh, how that works out. That's I, 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 I do like that idea. Next up is badges inside of your live streams, which is kind of like a super chat or on Twitch or donation. And then you could put ads on your Instagram reels. Now, the thing about this is that I don't know how much money you stand to make off a 10 second video. How much money is advertisers really gonna pay to put their ad on a 10 second video? And uh, you know, I, I don't think it's gonna be that significant. It will help if you have a lot of monetization features working for you on Instagram, but I, I don't think that one thing is just enough. And on YouTube, that's basically AdSense, but uh, with YouTube, there's uh, longer form content. So uh, advertisers are willing to pay a lot more for their ads being on longer content versus a 10 second video. And then you have subscriptions so people can subscribe to your profile to get like exclusive content. And it's kind of like the Patreon model or the um, membership or uh, I think it's membership on YouTube. And it's basically the same idea. Now, while all of this is great, for my fellow Instagram creators, you know, uh, 
I wish them the best and I wish them, you know, more possibilities to monetize their profile or their uh, Instagram. Right. But the thing about it is, is that all of this really depends upon the algorithm. It goes back to what I said in my first point when I talked about discoverability and really having that power to be discovered on these different platforms. On Instagram, you're relying upon the algorithm. And then it goes back to longevity. How long does your post actually last? If your post is only lasting two weeks a week, how much money are you really going to make off of that post? Versus YouTube, where I already said I'm a year and a half old video that is leading my channel in views. The money is non-comparable so did i convince y'all that being a youtube artist is really something that you should consider if not i got i got one more thing i got one more thing Perfect.